I like to have more interaction with the students so that rather than me being just the talking head, I want to try and directly engage, get them engaged, so it's more a conversation. One element was the contracts for closure. Of I now use a lot more different media than I used to. I put a lot more detail on my lecture outlines than I ever did before and I always make sure they're posted at least 24 hours in advance because I like the students to be sort of sitting, listening, thinking during the entire duration of the lecture rather than having to um, scribble a lot of notes. Turning point is basically them using a clicker to record an answer and the students quite enjoy that. Now you've got some choices. So I want you to think about it. What's the primary concern? Sometimes they have a discussion with their neighbour, but some of them are just so quite keen to see the results. Um, they're voting even before I've sort of gone through all the options. It gives them an opportunity to do something a bit differently in the lecture, but they can do it anonymously. I have no idea which number you've pressed. So Tom might have hit number four, and I might think, well, he's really hit number one. It's about their engagement with the material. If you've actually got to be actively doing something like thinking and clicking and thinking well okay what does this actually mean I think it's a better level of engagement. Okay let's see what people have answered. 42 percent primary concern of ecological economics is use of market-based mechanisms to allocate resources efficiently. 47 percent with Turning Point, I practised and practised and practised myself beforehand because I wanted to make sure when I went into the lecture theatre that I knew exactly how it was going to sort of play out. Don't be afraid of trying something new. Prepare, practise, do all those things, but don't be afraid to try something new because you'll be rewarded as well as the students getting something out of it as well.